Hello, got an update for XNorm. You had the option to load a generated normal map that was uh, already existing or auto generating one. I've also put this option in for the ambient occlusion, gloss, and metalness files. So we've got here a texture that we want to use for the ground. Obviously, these are not compatible with Max. So um, what we can do is if we open the color image as normal, it'll ask me if it wants to auto generate a normal map or no to load an existing map. So we'll choose the existing map. We've got to open GL and a direct X. It's just the direction of the Y that's reversed on that, but it doesn't matter. So that's the actual normal map that was generated in another application. So if we go to generate max terrain, we now get another option. Would you like to auto generate AO, gloss and metalness maps? Choose no to select existing maps. Well, we've got some existing maps, so we'll choose them. So we'll get a pop up and it'll tell you exactly here which map it wants to choose. But the other thing is it'll only list ambient occlusion maps. So the file name, if the file name is AO or ambient or occlusion or ambient occlusion, it will automatically select it. Okay. Same again with the gloss roughness map. If it's named with either roughness or gloss, and then you can actually select it. And again, metalness, metal, metallic, metalness. As long as the name, as long as that word is in the name, it will select the correct map. If it doesn't have, if you just got my terrain or my map, it won't find it. So you have to put the keywords in of AO, gloss, roughness, metal or metal, metalness. Um, even though we've, we've loaded these, we can still edit them. So we can actually make them um, smooth and shiny or rough. So, um, so we can still edit the, the, the ones that you've selected and then we can export for Max and this will create the surface texture that's required for Max. Like I say the textures mm -hmm. for the surf for the terrain in Max are slightly different to the standard textures. Um, for one, if we go in the map, here's the generated textures. If we look at the properties of the file we can see it's only got an 8-bit depth um, and it's a BC7. Uh, this is also 8-bit but BC5 and the surface map is actually 4-bit and BC1. So it's a 4-bit depth. So that is the difference between the standard maps. Um, what I've also done now is in the source folder you get all the maps that you use. So you've got your color, your gloss, your meltingness, normal, and the AO. So you've got them for future editing, uh, whatever you like to do. So that makes this texture compatible with Max. We can also just use the also generate feature, which works just as well. So would you like to generate a new normal map? Yes. And it will generate the normal map. And then we can tweak the normal map to how we want it. Like I say, if you've already created it, there's probably no need, but... So we've got this normal map now, and we can reverse it, so it's GL, open GL, or DX, whichever way you want it. Um, that'll be open GL, and that'll be um, DirectX. Okay, then we can generate the max terrain, would you like to auto generate? Yes. So it still works the same and we can still adjust the gloss and the metalness. We've just got the added feature of um, being able to load in your own maps. So um, as far as XNorm is concerned, I'm still tweaking it a little bit. Um, I've made it slightly mm -hmm. quicker at the generation, but um, there's some things that I want to try that I haven't done yet, but you see there's the actual maps and the source maps. So
So what we've got at the moment then is an application that will generate your normal, your AO, your um, metalness and gloss, or you can load ones you've already got. Just gives you the extra options. Thanks for watching. Bye.